What's going on guys? Scar coming at you with another Magic the Gathering video. Sorry I haven't been actually uploading as consistently as I normally have. It's just been a very hectic week and just a couple of nights uh, by the time I usually start recording after work. I was I just been very drained so I just haven't had the energy to really put myself around the camera to really record you guys a video but today we're jumping back into it. This is this is being recorded like the night before Kaladesh releases. I think it releases tomorrow as I uh, when this video does post. Um, but we are diving back into some standard decks that I did go over in a prior deck list that I did did previously on the channel. I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere in this video as you watch it uh, of that list. If you just want to watch all the lists of the decks I've done. But this list we're diving into is a Golgari mid range style deck. The goal of the deck is to kind of like have some spot removal in the early game to kind of like disrupt your opponent's creatures. Uh, you know, you know, the Heartless Axe, the Buzz Chief's Thirst, some Erebus intervention for a little bit of life gain, especially if you get against like the, you know, the the more aggressive matchups that are definitely hitting you really hard very early uh, a little bit of hand hand disruption and then if it, also if we're playing uh, a little bit of you know the more aggressive like aggro style decks like the rogues and stuff like that we do actually have four shadows verdicts in the deck which is essentially our board wipe uh in the deck uh, what this card does if you haven't played it or seen it um it exiles all creatures and planeswalkers over command cost three or less from the battlefield and all creatures and planeswalkers over command cost three or less from all graveyards so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to one get rid of everything on the battlefield by exiling them so it doesn't trigger anything and two it's also going to then remove them from the graveyard so there's no way for them to miraculously get them back into their hand or onto the battlefield from the graveyard so essentially it's like a for five mana we're just going to completely wipe everything off the board that's three or less uh which is very good against those aggressive matchups uh the only downfall is if we were playing something a little bit slower that's not as uh you know aggressive uh this card's kind of a dead card essentially but um it is a good card in the current meta just based on what we are seeing in the meta with all the rogues and you know the mono reds and i think the gogar uh gogari that's what i'm playing uh the gruel style matchups this is definitely a good card to have uh you know you got the mall in as well for the land and or also spot removal e to extinction another little good spot removal kind of card uh just to exile target creature at instant speed which is not bad we have the recovery which is actually pretty good against these rogue matchups that also mill things into our graveyard because essentially other than playing for the land we can also re return target card from our graveyard to our hand essentially getting back anything that gets exiled to our graveyard back into our hand which could be like a shadows verdict or a spot removal spell maybe to stop the milling um but it's a good card in that sense uh like i said it can also be a land we also are playing nissa's a shadowed burrow if you haven't played her she hasn't really seen too much play i don't really think i, I don't really think too many people have actually played nissa she's pretty interesting every time we play a land she gets a loyalty counter we can untap a land for plus one make it a three three elemental creature with haste and menace at the end of turn and it's still a land and we can minus five we can put a creature card for the commander cost less than or equal to the number of lands we control onto the battlefield from our hand uh, or graveyard with two plus one plus one counters on it. So essentially if uh, something like, you know, let's something like our elder Garroth got exiled into our graveyard We can essentially get him back with a two plus one plus one counters on it And now we have an eight eight reach trampler uh, With vigilance, which is pretty good um, Essentially now also having a two plus one plus one counters It gets out of like heartless act as then essentially they'd have to remove the counters then actually target the girl Garroth So it has double like protection from that but definitely an interesting card we're also playing Palaka Perdition uh, for those more like bigger card style decks that are playing something a little bit more aggressive that's bigger. Uh, essentially what this does, it gets to we get to target target opponent and look at their hand and remove converted mana cost to your greater card from and that player discards that card. Also can be a land, so if they're not really playing anything that's really aggressive and large, uh, it, you know, we can always just throw it down as a land. And we're also playing one crawl and barren just because why not uh, have an ability that if we don't really draw our more higher end creatures we can at least put two plus one plus one counters on this and eventually in the late game as the board's kind of clear we can swing in with a very big land that are, it makes it very hard for our opponent to deal with just because some of the spot removal uh really we we i truly only see heartless acts i haven't seen too many eliminates as of recent i feel like eliminates have kind of you know dropped off a little bit for heartless act in the blood chief thirst combo um, but you know we're all crawling baron is one of those lanes that's pretty good in this like control the style mid-range style deck just because it becomes a big threat that your opponent uh really uh can't really deal with and you can turn it on whenever you want whenever you tap the four mana so you don't you can put the two plus one plus one counters on it but you don't have to turn it into a creature at that time but you know you can always do it whenever you decide to especially if your opponent's tapped out you get a very big land you just swing in for face and your opponent's like crap i uh you know i didn't expect that to happen but overall the deck has a little bit of ramp a little bit of 
spot removal and that little bit of that mid-range goodness to hopefully get over our opponent and you know cause some havoc against them but let's dive into some games kind of see how we do we're gonna dive into the rank ladder i got reset but i didn't re really high last month so we're like i think back down to like bronze two or bronze one um so we're gonna try to grand out to the bronze rank maybe in this video and uh see how we do um uh opponent's going first land situation is not great and our hand is i mean it's okay but it's not amazing like it's very top end heavy so this is a mull uh this is better um i guess we get rid of one of the forests possibly because i think everything else is pretty decent just because we have uh that can be used for uh you know finding more more lands of finding more black mana so all right this is not terrible all right so mono green it looks like so far Yeah, we should play this in the play at least first turn tapped. Um, if we can survive the beginning, we should be fine. All right, so there's. All right, you know I'm pretty, pretty happy that was all that happened after that turn. The fact that they only played a mana and then said go. All right, Bone Crusher, that's fine. Who would have guessed? Oh, wow, Bone Crusher. All right, so next turn is going to be a little rough just because they're, I think, already on Ember Cleave in a weird way. Um, So we'll play another, play one of these. We get another forest. And we'll say go. If we can survive this turn, I think we're OK. All right, that doesn't get removed. Um, so we're in a awkward predicament there. Um, puts me in range of getting. Well, I'm not dead next turn, so I think we shadows verdict, get rid of the smaller things, and then hope that we survive next turn if they don't have anything with haste. Is my only thing. Okay. That's their big play. I know it's a quest and beast in the land. It's crazy. All right. All right. That is that is cards. Well, we'll get rid of that so the question just can't attack um yeah we'll say go with that and yeah so I'll pass <laughs> like oh this guy's got spot removal does he want to does he have anything he does he's holding it Do they have fling? He's got a... He's got something. Uh, library. Alright. Okay. So I played Nyssa, right? I'm at one, so like, um, if I get a shock spell, this is not great. We will never stand down. I do die to an Ember Cleave and a Quest and Beast. That was my only play. I don't know why they thought so long. Um, we're on the play. Uh, hand's not terrible, so I think I'll keep. I'm gonna possibly hold off on playing that. Uh, 
I should play it, I think, just so I get Green Man on the battlefield tapped. Like, at, like at least, because I'm... Um... Well, I'm on the play, though, so I get a draw. But if I don't draw Green Mana and then I have to play it on turn three, that's a weird turn three. It's not like I can play Blood Chief turn one anyway. So I think we're just going to play this. We're just going to say go. Just on the hope they're not playing like, okay. Fable Passage is a pretty good play for us. So that means they're not going to play anything at the end of our turn. All right, we got blue, which is always a good sign. You know, it's always a possibility that you're po they're possibly playing rogues, you know. Maybe it's Mill. Mill would be interesting here. Oh. Oh, look what they did. They're gonna let me draw it. They're gonna let me draw it. You gonna counter my ramp spell? Or are you gonna play the rogue? I know. You don't want me to get that one extra basic land. Oh my goodness, Batman. Look. Look at it. It's a rogue. Okay. Okay. Gonna get for one, guys. What happens, if I have a, what happens if I have a thing? I'm gonna scry because I feel like I'm gonna just, you know. It see it sticks. So that means they have a response. Do they want to mill me? That's the question. I know. I'm taking a while to read a book. I didn't know this was that pivotal. It's very riveting. My favorite book ever. Oh man. I keep it on top. You know you want me to have it. Thank you. Mm. I know. Question is, will they let me blood cheap here? I mean, you can counter it. I know, it's definitely something you really should counter. Nice, dude. Can you play all the rogues? So you make a copy of... Okay, that's fine. Leaving you vulnerable to a possible counter spell. Also, I'm not high enough, I guess. That's where I thought. Okay, that's good. Um... Yeah, we'll get uh, another green mana. And we'll play... I know it's 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 crazy. It's crazy what I got in there. It's a lot of removal, okay? You're gonna sacrifice it already and draw a card. Oh. Oh. What are you doing, my dude? Are you really doing this so you can swap in a card that's unblocked? Do I have anything that's actually... Oh, I guess that. It's not bad. 
You have X amount of lanes though, so it's not really that strong. You can get a beanstalk giant for five. I mean, maze by tomes are good, but they're not great. Oh my god, all the Nissas. Well, I mean, that's my really only true play that I can do here, because then it makes it awkward for them. Because now they're going to try to probably look for removal. Foreign rogues. Um, I guess we'll keep. This is okay. It kind of sucks that we have to get rid of a mall in though, but it's fine regardless. I know. I put a mall in down. Here to intimidate you by by uh, sacrificing really good cards. Rakdos? Possibly. Oh, feels bad, dude. Okay. We're we're going like We're going like pure like old school like Rakdos here, aren't we? Do I have a turn three? I'm really curious. I mean, I will get hit by the Whisper Squad and let you search for a library for another Whisper Squad. I will let you fill the board with Whisper Squads. Is it Sorcery Speed or Instant Speed? Are you gonna get the gang, dude? Oh my goodness, it's a Meyer Triton. All right, I see where you're going with this. I like it. Hmm. Only one red mana. Ooh, the good book. Have you read the book, guys? It's the good book. Give the upkeep scry. You know, just because. Get that extra, like, point of, uh, point of damage in. I really just want them to fill the board with more things. I mean, they're gonna attack him with three. That's fine. But what are they gonna actually play stuff? Okay. That's fine. Um. Give the Heartless Act. I know. Crazy. Crazy. I'd rather draw. 
See, I can just draw into something better. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Yeah, we'll take that too. We can just temple Milady. Milady. Um, I think this is gonna be okay. Gargaroth here? If they don't have the right amount of cards, they may have a spot removal, but we'll play the Gargaroth so that I have to use it. We have ways of getting Gargaroth back, and it definitely puts a, a damper in their uh, plans. You have to wait for it to resolve, then Heartless Act it. We're gonna play more Whisper Squads. More Whisper Gang! Nice. Shuffle it up, hopefully get your red mana, because I'm assuming you want to play... Assuming you eventually want to play Croxa. Or Croxa. Yeah, Croxa. I don't know why I was gonna say Uro, but... Uro's old news. Oh, nice. Oh, even better. Nice. I know it has Death Touch. I will take your two. No blocks. I know. It's crazy. Um. Shadow's Verdict. Yes, those Croxes go bye bye. Those Mire Train go bye bye. Okay. That's perfectly fine. It still goes bye bye, but you get two cards. Got another village rights. All right. Do you fill your hand up? Um, I guess we get wide. Well, I'll hit him for six. Just in case they have some spot removal, you know, we have another 3 3 on the board. Like, they're literally playing like Rakdos from like back in the day. Essentially, right now, on us. Okay. That's probably fine. Do you have a land? Fire Triton? Still fine. Resolve. Ooh, what's that? Nice. Uh, we'll play a Nithsa. Those who do not speak to the land cannot be trusted. Uh, we will take action. Go to combat. We'll hit you for three with the land. I know, it's crazy. Um. Yeah, I will in turn. I could have drawn a land there, possibly, and then maybe play, you know, I would have been able to get everything back, but we'll do it this way. I'd rather, like, grab the Maze of My Tome, like, reactionary. Now it's like the Murderous Rider would have been good for the Nissa. For them. But I think in our situation, if we are able to keep Nissa around for a turn, um, we will definitely get Elder Gargaroth uh, back and then play it from our hand by minus and five and get rid of Nissa. Whoa, Strata. Whoa, Strata. That's fine. 
Get a go. Bye. Like this is legit old school Rakdos, like before rotation, but it's missing like all the key cards. You are really trying to uh to really pressure in here. You know if you attack in and I block, it's all right, we'll draw. Land. 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 Oh man, no land. Oh, okay. So we'll do this. We will do this. Play it as a land. We'll get a thing. Oh, I can't do it all this turn, can I? We will then do all this. We'll exile the board. Make you sacrifice your things so you can scry the top of your library the way you like it. I know you gotta do it all now. Yeah, slowly scry away your things. Okay. I mean, that's actually smart. I forgot that that actually uh, goes back on top of the library. Top card. So are you not? Are you gonna keep on scrying away? Because. Land. This one. Take action. Swing it for three. I know. Reckless end. abandonment here, guys. In turn. This is at seven. Next turn is a big turn. I think next turn we can play Elder Gargroth, even if... Okay. That's fine. No. There. I'll have an 80. Um, let me see your hand. Okay. All right, we are back. I mean, overall, the deck performed very so-so. I don't know if it's quick enough for the current meta. Um, I mean, it's very interesting in certain standpoints. There was some interesting points where we kind of weren't getting what we needed for the particular decks we were playing, or we got too much of something we didn't need it. Uh, some of the decks, some of the games I cut out of the video just because they were a little rough. So I just kind of kept the ones I felt like were overall were better. Um, I just don't know if maybe it was just my night on arena tonight as I'm recording the video. It was just some of the matchups we were getting weren't in our favor. But I mean, what we were doing was fairly pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know if it's just like not aggressive enough. I, I looking at the deck, I think maybe it's one of those things. There's not enough creatures in the deck i mean sure nissa creates lands that make creatures and stuff like that and we have the one crawl and Ban barons maybe it's increase uh crawl and barons to like two or three is a possibility in the deck um but i mean overall just kind of you know if we played a much slower matchup or a opponent who wasn't really playing super quick against us it really you know went into our favor uh with that being said guys if you like the video, hit that like button. Definitely helps out a lot. We are getting close to a thousand subscribers. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate it. But until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.